Hi, everyone. My name is Jordan, and uh, we'll be talking about design patterns in React. But before I begin, thank you, Jeannie and Bracklett, for sponsoring this event, and Codesmith for hosting. So uh, we're going to talk about design patterns in React. So I'll start off with what are design patterns, uh, why React, and give you some examples of design patterns within React just so you can understand uh, like the different design patterns in our day-to-day -day if you're using React, for example. Now, uh, design patterns are like templates that help us um, build code that makes it easier for us to maintain, um, scale our applications. Um, there are agreed upon approaches in the field that allowed us to uh, create different uh, implementations of software. Now, uh, design patterns are not pieces of code. They're more like pseudocode, and they allow us to uh, do many interesting things. I would definitely study uh, design patterns. Um, when you encounter a problem within your application, it might, uh, one solution, one de design uh, pattern solution might come up in mind and you can implement it. But uh, for a design pattern, if you have a application and there's no specific need for it, don't try to like force it in uh, because you can bring in unnecessary uh, complexity. So before I talk about different uh, design patterns in React, let me talk about why React. So uh, React, has a strong ecosystem and it lies in its collaborative nature, uh, open source contributions, uh, developers and organizations contribute to this library to allow for a better development experience. And hence, one good example is the React developer tool. Um, my favorite is React Native. This is a mobile, uh, framework that allows for you to pretty much write code in uh, React and then it, in one code base and pretty much it'll bundle that code to iOS and Android, allowing organizations to not have to pay two different teams. And it's also a lot faster uh, to develop a, app, a mobile application. So my first um, React design pattern is higher order uh, component pattern. Uh, you might have seen this. Well, it might have seemed similar to higher order functions. And this pattern uses the decorator pattern, which adds or extends to a behavior of objects without altering their original structure, right? Specifically for higher order components, this is a JavaScript function that takes in a component and adds uh, functionality or uh, any additional features to it. Um, it's kind of like, I'll use the metaphor, like putting uh, a layer of wrapping paper on a gift and making it more special without changing the box itself. And one example of an implementation would be, let's say for example, this is your application. And you see that we sell houses is pretty small, all right? It's hard to read, all right? So we can design, we can create a higher order component to enlarge it pretty much. And so we'll pass in that component to the higher order component and I'll make it bigger and the weight bigger as well. Um, and that's one good use case for it. Another, React design pattern is uh, the React conditional rendering pattern. And this is based off the this, uh, strategy pattern. And it pretty much helps you define a family of interchangeable algorithms, encapsulate them, and render them based off of specific conditions. It's like having different st strategies uh, to solve a problem and choosing the best one based on the situation. Uh, so a good example of this would be um, 
if you have an error, uh, you can render a specific component. If you have data, you render another component. If you have an array, it doesn't have any data, the length is zero, you can render another component. Another uh, design pattern in React is container presentational pattern. So the container component pretty much takes care of the, like the fetching of the data and the presentational component takes care of decorating it really nice for the user. Um, a good example would be uh, this list of homes. So what would happen is the container uh, component would fetch the data and then pass it to the presentational component to uh, make it look nice like this. And this is great for class components, but for functional components, React Hooks actually takes care of this for us. And we'll talk a little bit more about React Hooks in the next couple of slides. So we have a state reducer pattern. So pretty much, uh, are, are, you guys are familiar with Redux, right? And so pretty much this allows you to have a specific function, a reducer, and it will communicate with a store on our, beha on our behalf. Um, it's, this pattern is very popular in Redux. And so it allows for um, predictability and maintainability with an application. Now, this pattern, if it's a simple application and you could just use use state, uh, I wouldn't recommend bringing in like a library like Redux uh, to overcomplicate it. Um, yeah, and this this pattern has uh, for if, if it has multiple state throughout the application, and uh, relies on a complex logic, then definitely use this pattern. Lastly, we have our beautiful hooks, and the hooks I find most interesting because uh, when I first started with React the functional components didn't have hold any state. So all the, all the data that it rendered was from the props. Now, uh, what are hooks? Hooks are pieces of code. It could be pieces of code that add state to um, our functional component. For example, the use state. Um, another one is uh, pieces of data that persist Stay full logic throughout uh, multiple components. It could be use context. And um, a, a hook that manages the life cycle of uh, the component, which could be, which is the, the use effect. And so this is a custom uh, hook. And you see how it returns two different elements. And all hooks return to different elements. And so you can honestly create use state from scratch if you wanted to. Um, it's actually really interesting. Um, but this is this pattern is mostly used for functional components, not class components. In summary, uh, design patterns are like templates that help us. They're not necessarily uh, pieces of code, but more like thoughts, more like uh, implementations to uh, solve a specific problem in our application. And I hope that these examples that I've shown you could help maybe piece together design patterns with any specific application that we're working on. It doesn't have to be React. Um, but yeah, this is... Uh, great for uh, reusability, scalability, uh, design patterns are agreed upon in the field by everyone. And this is great. Uh, this is my work cited.
And I just want to say thank you to everyone. Do I have any questions? All right, thank you so much.